Get one page in that here. Today we're looking at this Lenovo ThinkPad Thunderbolt 3 dock. Now this is Gen 2. Now I have done Gen 1 in a previous video. If you haven't checked that video out, I'll put a link in the description below so you can check that out after if you want. But they have made some major changes to Gen 2 and I'll go through that. It's mostly to do with the ports there. Now I'm going to quickly do the unboxing of this dock here so you can see what it comes with and then I also will connect this dock to a MacBook Pro so we can see how that performs and I'll try and get a free monitor set up for you. Now I will probably more than likely create another video for this dock for a Windows laptop and I'll actually install Ubuntu on that Windows laptop and see how that performs maybe we can try and get a triple monitor set up on that one too. So I'll put a link in the description below of that Ubuntu one uh, when it's available. So let's have a look at what's inside the box and see what this dock comes with. So I've already pre-cut this. Okay, so what we get is we get the dock itself. Uh, we'll try and have a look. I have the dock itself, but a bit of rubbish. Now let's look at the cable, the Thunderbolt cable. Now I have noticed that the Thunderbolt cables for the, this particular dock here, the Thunderbolt 3 dock from Lenovo, I find it pretty short and it looks to be a little bit more longer than the previous one but I'll have a quick measure. I've got a bit of a tape measure here so this is one of the annoying points I've, I really prefer they increase it and it looks like they have. I would probably say that is, this is actually bigger than my, this 45mm rule. 50 centimeters. So that's an improvement because the previous one was probably around about 30 centimeters or so. But that's nice if that was longer. And right, I'll put that away. And what do we got here? We've got the power adapter. And what we have here is a 135 watt power adapter. Now I know they've also comes with a 230 watt power adapter version for this one here. The dock is still the same, it's just it comes with a different power adapter. It's for the more the ThinkPads that actually require more power then. But anyway, I'll put this on the side. And then we've got some documentations, we don't really need that. And then of course the power cable for, to plug into the power adapter itself. And that's pretty much all we've got there. Oh, that's all there is. Let's have a look at the ports on this dock. So turning on the back hand side, we've got two USB 3.1 Gen 2, so that's the fast one. At the bottom right hand is the one that has always on. And then we've got the RJ45 Ethernet port here. We've got two display ports there, version 1.4. We've got another two HDMI ports there, version 2.0. Just be wary that the display port and this HDMI port, they both share the same channel. So you can only use one of the two. You cannot use them both at the exact same time. So just be aware of that there. And then we've got another two more USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports here. And then we've, we've got the 135 watt power adapter plug here. So that's where you plug in the supply 135 watt right here. And if you look on the left hand side here, you'll see a 230 watt power adapter port here. And so that's where you actually plug in the 230 watt version of the power adapter. Now you'll see Right below that is the Thunderbolt port. Now that Thunderbolt port is where you plug in the supply Thunderbolt cable that came with the dock and this is the one that you actually plug into the computer. So make sure it's this one here at the back and not the one at the front you'll see later on. So this is the one that plugs into the computer here. This is so we can actually supply enough power to the laptop there. That's all, that's where that one plugs in. Now you'll see there's an interesting, another little interesting port here. Now that's a, this here is actually a combined special cable from Lenovo. Now that cable, what that once you plug that in, what it does is it actually gives you two Thunderbolt cables at the end. And that is for the computers that require more power to the laptops that it's pretty much for the laptops that have a discrete graphics card in there and draw a lot of power. So that's, that's to supply enough power for those laptops there. So I don't have one of those. So I'll just explain what that is to you, what that special port is for you. So let's, and I'm looking on the top here, we've got the power button here. So that should mirror what your power button does on your computer. And then we're looking on the right hand side here. We also see the Kensington lock slot here for you. And if we turn to the front over here, we should be able to see there's the USB 3.1 Gen 2 port again at the front and then we've got the Thunderbolt port and again remember this is not the Thunderbolt port you actually plug into your computer it is just a normal Thunderbolt port 
And then we've got a combo jack for your headset and microphone if you want. And that's pretty much about it, because on the other end there's nothing much. So let's connect this 13 inch MacBook Pro to this Lenovo Thunderbolt 3 Gen 2 dock. Now this is a 2018 version of the MacBook Pro. So I'm expecting the 2017, 2019 and 2020 MacBook Pro 13 inch should react the exact same as this 2018 version. Now the, if you've got a 15 inch or 16 inch MacBook Pro, unfortunately I don't have those on hand at the moment, but I expect it to have a very similar connectivity to these monitors and peripherals as this 13 inch MacBook Pro. The only thing that might not be the same is its charging ability because the 15 and 16 require more power to be charged to those MacBook Pros. So I'm pretty sure it should be able to charge it but that's the only thing I can't really confirm with you yet. So I'll just quickly tell you the setup I've got here at the moment. I've got three 24 inch monitors, they're full HD, unfortunately they're not 2K or 4K, I just don't have the funds for that at the moment yet. But I've got the middle one connected by HDMI port and I've got the two on the sides are connected by display ports. Decide to actually separate just to make things easier there. Anyway, so let's connect this 13 inch MacBook Pro to the dock now. So I also have Ethernet connected to the back of the dock and also the keyboard and mouse by USB as well, so we can actually check that out. So anyway, let's connect that up. Any ports of the Thunderbolt ports will be able to do it. All right, it's good that we hear a sound that's actually pop up. We can see something at the moment, and let's just have a look what we got. Okay, we've got pretty much all three screens going, and fourth screen's actually going at the moment, but they're all currently in mirror mode at the moment. So let's go quickly over to the system preferences and see if we can split this up here. So, oh, displays and arrangement. Okay, so at the moment we can only see all the external screens seems to be in mirror mode in itself, but it is separate to the built-in screen there. So that's the extended monitor. So really it's only two workspaces we have here. Uh, can I actually get anywhere else from that? I'm going to actually unplug one of the display ports, see what happens there. So I'll have a display port and a HDMI port plugged in only. So I'll plug this one off. So I'll plug the, unplug the left, very left hand corner one off first. And we'll just see if we get any better from that. Right, the arrangement. Unfortunately, those external monitors are still in mirror mode there. I'm going to quickly take the HDMI off and just have the display ports only connected there. So let's have a look at that. So I've got the HDMI port and I've got two display ports connected, so I should have these two monitors far up. Sorry, it's taking so long. And again, yep, the arrangement seems to be again in mirror mode as well, too. So those two display ports are in mirror mode and we still have this built-in screen independent. So it looks like with maximum we can only get two so far for it extended monitors. Now I'm going to try another mode and basically I'm going to flip this one down to see if these two will separate. So the built-in screen is now closed off to see if we can separate these two there. Unfortunately we don't have the arrangements which means it can only still do mirror mode on the two display port. I'm going to quickly change one of the display ports out for this HDMI port and see what happens there. I'm just trying all the different configurations so you don't have to try those different configurations there. So I've got the HMI should fire up and also this right hand display port should fire up, I'm hoping so. We haven't got anything there, I'm just going to bring it up. It's gone to sleep. This is a good test to see if this power button would mirror the power button on the Mac. Unfortunately, it will not. So the power button doesn't actually mirror the Mac power button there. So I'm going to quickly just flip this open, try and bring this around again. Hopefully, it should fire up this HMI port up here. Okay, got arrangement. No go there. All right, so display port and HMI is a no go, pretty much. You can only really do to, I'm going to just try the other HDMI port and the display port here. So these two, HDMI and display port, I'm just seeing these will fire up itself. Or else I'm just running into a lot of trouble at the moment. 
no, doesn't really like it at all. I'm just going to plug all three back in. Okay, so I've got all three monitors back on it going again anyway. I'm going to close the built-in screen to see if we can just run off only the external screens. And the three external screens with the lid closed down, it will work. But again, it's all mirrored and you can't separate them at all. So now I do know from my previous videos that you actually connect the second monitor to the Thunderbolt port. Now, the Thunderbolt port is at the front and you, if you don't have the Thunderbolt monitor itself, that's okay, as long as you've got an adapter there. So at the moment, I'm gonna use my DA200 adapter which changed from a USB-C to HDMI. So I'm just gonna plug the HDMI cable from there to this adapter and I'll plug the adapter to the Thunderbolt port here and we'll see how that runs. Now I do have the lid closed down here so at the moment I've got these two ports I've got the external screen which is good and I can definitely see now it's split managed to split two screens up so I've got the display ports on the exact same mirror and then the HMI is independent to the screen itself so that's able to go through there as you can see so I'm going to bring up the built-in screen up back again see what we get then and it looks like we've got three monitors so I've got the built-in screen independent we've got the display ports are independent as well and then we've got the HDMI port which is independent as well so that's one of the things, so I can just quickly just show you. It's just going through there. So we've really managed to get three independent screens for the MacBook Pro with this Lenovo dock. As for the rest of the ports on the dock, what the MacBook Pro can detect. So it's not unfortunately unable to see the Ethernet port, which is a bit of a bummer because that's very useful for workspaces there. So you're definitely running off your Wi-Fi for your MacBook Pro to actually get network connectivity. And then with the USBs, they're all working fine there, I can see. Now for the sound wise, the audio contact was unable to detect. So it's unable to pass through audio to the dock there which is a bit of a shame as well too. Now as for the power wise, it is able to charge the 13 inch MacBook Pro using this dock there through this Thunderbolt. So you don't need to connect a Thunderbolt port. So overall, I gotta say, it will work for display in your space, but it's very limiting there. So I probably wouldn't recommend the MacBook Pro with the Lenovo Thunderbolt 3 Gen 2 dock there. Now if you find this video informative or enjoyed it, give it a like and if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel, hit that subscribe button on the bottom of the screen to try to upload a new video every Tuesday. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.